Hello everyone, and welcome to part 11 on how to make Breakout in Unity. So last time we made it so there's a scene transition that causes your scene here to fade to black and load in the next scene. In this case, it's this level that I built. And um, we also created prefabs for each of our game objects. That way we can easily create new levels. And we can just drag in our camera, our game manager, and our bat, and then just create an array of blocks. And then we'll be good to go. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new level using these prefabs. And we're going to create both our game over and our play again scene. In fact, we might be finishing breakout in this video or the next one because I really want to get working on the next tutorial series. So let's start. Now the way you create a new level is I'm going to create a new scene and delete this camera. Instead I want to bring in the main camera scene. So I'm going to drag it and drop it into the hierarchy. Now when I do that the coordinates of your prefab on this um, transform bar will be identical to the transform coordinates as the game object in the scene. This way you don't have to fiddle around with um, changing your game object's position after dragging into the scene. And we're also going to drag in our bat. And then we can use pretty much any arrangement of blocks so I'll just make one up real quick off camera. So I just drag and drop to these uh, blocks into here. And as you can see, they uh, function just as you would expect. When the uh, blocks get hit a certain number of times, they get destroyed. See? So next thing I have to do is just drag in the game manager. And now when I click play, I'll have a score count and a lives count. And it will, because of how we created the, oh wait. One quick thing, you need to make it so the canvas, the canvas is centered over the main camera. So that's it. I created this level in like two minutes. And yeah, it's a really quick and easy thing to do. Just drag and drop your sprites, create a layout that you want, and there's your new level. And because of how we created our game manager, it will just continue loading new levels until you get to the end of the game. Or when you get to a game over. So now what I need to do, just one quick thing, there is a bug in the back controller where when you load another level, you won't be able to shoot your ball. This is because the launched ball variable remains true even after the game is loaded. So in our game manager, when we, right before we load a new scene, we want to tell the back controller that the ball has not been launched. Okay. So I'm just going to save this scene and call it level 3, put it in the scenes folder. And I'd also like to just quickly rename the other scenes to be appropriate names. So our game scene, our game scene would be level 1. Our test scene will be level 2, and our third level will be level 3. And then after that, we have game over and our victory screen. So let's create a new scene. And once again, let's delete this main camera and just reuse the other camera we had here. And this is just to keep things consistent with our camera sizes. So I'm going to save this. And this scene is going to be known as Game Over. And in here, sorry about that, I don't know if you heard that, but 
Yeah, I don't have ideal recording conditions. Anyway, in here we are going to display our final score and just a message saying that you have ran out of lives. And then a button asking if you want to play again. So let's start. Let's go create a UI text. And once again, make sure it's centered over the camera. Oh, world space, and then camera. Yeah, screen space, camera. It just make sure it's centered over the camera. And we want to have a text that says something along the lines of game over. And we can make it red or something just to really highlight that this is the end of the game. Make the text nice and big. Be sure to keep the overflow values to overflow. Yeah, this is looking nice. And then the next thing we're going to want is a UI element or a button. And what this button will just be for, we're going to have one for quit. And we'll have one for, wait, one for quit and one for play again. In fact, yeah. So, after this, we're just going to name our buttons. And remember, the buttons have a text on them, and that's how you modify what the buttons are saying. So we're going to have this one say quit, this one say play again. And if I were to play this scene, just to test it, if I were to, it can darken the play again and quit buttons. So I'm just going to tweak this a bit and change button size off camera, and I'll see you when I get back. So here's what I came up with. We're going to have our final score that'll display your total score that you managed to get. And I also decided to have it so it displays two other texts, and those will be a lives score. and a point. Now lives is going to add so here's how this is going to work. Points is based on your score that you have received in game. So if I were to receive like uh, 15,000 or so points throughout the over, over the course of the game then it'll show 15,000 here and then lives I'll get say another thousand points per life and then my final score will be the sum of my points and my lives and then you'll be prompted if you want to play again or quit the game so that's how it works now I do want to move points and lives closer so they're more aligned with the final score hmm Actually, instead of saying final score, let's just say final, just to make it a little bit more free with what it's saying. Because it's kind of obvious already that it'll be the final score. I do like having that indentation there. That would be a bit clear. But these are your points, these are your lives, and this is your final score. Now what we're going to need here is just some text saying that just um, displaying your scores for each of these. So I'm going to create a new script. So in my canvas, I'll add a component for a new script. And we're going to name this game over 
And what this will do is this will uh, calculate how many points and lives and our final score and then prompt if you want to play again or quit. So, um, in the next episode, we are going to be scripting all of this for our points, our lives, and our final score. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions on how to improve my YouTube series, please let me know. And I hope to stay tuned for the next episode. Goodbye.